So the plan now is to get the bike set up and loaded up with everything from Morocco. Set up the dynamo, all those kind of bits that always take a bit longer than you think they will take. Lots of tail fin stuff, lots of instructions. Uh, yeah. I need them. <laughs> I nearly got one. I think I, did I get one over here? So this is tail fin suspension fork mounting system. They make a carbon fiber system, which is this one, where these are carbon, but they also make a, I think it's a aluminium one as well. So that then mounts onto the fork, <laughs> like so. You can set this system up so that you can mount like a bag on the front if you want, or two bags, or water bottles is what I'm using it for. Basically, I've been doing some research into bottle cages, and based on Tailfin's recommendation, they raved about these dawn till dusk Captive 14 bottle cages. They're supposed to be a very tight and supportive water bottle that'll hold it in place uh, while you're bouncing around off road, basically. We'll see how that goes, though, right? So, what you do is you use this to basically measure the width of your fork. You get this very useful little guide here. Put the rubber bit on here, and then you clamp it on to three nutmeses. Seem to be affecting the suspension. That looks pretty neat, actually. That does. There's no issue with clearance there. Now I'm getting rid of these bottle cages so I can put the frame bag in. So tail fin, but very kindly made me a very lovely custom frame bag for this bike. So basically what I've got to do now is figure out how many straps I need. So anything that's white from tail fin is because it's a prototype, which is very exciting. And it means that they will be releasing it at some point in the future. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's Look wow. at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Bish bash bosh. Oh no. We're having some sliding issues. Well, I'm wondering whether I want to pull this right up here. What do you reckon, Nico? This here? Yeah. I'd say yes. Okay. <laughs> Extra wide. That's sick as a sick thing. <laughs> a little bit short here, but that's fine. They would have probably done that on purpose, in all honesty. Gives you a bit of room for maneuverability. Now this one. anywhere where you need to attach stuff to the bike like lights for example uh, for the dynamo light clear gorilla tape put it on your frame and then attach over the top of it and it just protects that part of the frame a bit more so you don't have to worry too much about scuffage <laughs> so there's definitely a chance that things will probably change between now and starting, there's another potentially a very exciting prototype bag to try out. TT bars for mountain biking because f the rules. My mind doesn't understand how this bit goes on. I 
lights going, front lights going. So that's the rough setup that I'm going to be using in terms of bags for Atlas Mountains. Some changes from previous setups. Tailpin have provided a custom made frame bag. Top tube bag is the same bag that I used for Badlands. The rear pack is the same rear pack that I used for Badlands as well. Down tube bag is from uh, Tailpin as well using their V-mount system. And I've got some of the uh, suspension fork mounts for two water bottles. The big change I guess is wheels. I'm riding reserve wheels pretty damn cool. Running a Reserve 30 on the front, laced up with a Dynamo and a Reserve 28 on the rear. And then in terms of like storage, the uh, rear pack is basically going to have like sleeping equipment in it. The full frame bag I'm going to use for food, some like electronics and like spare kit and layers. And then the top tube bag is basically a bit more food and also where like the charging stuff will be power bank charging from the dynamo hub and then potentially a front bag on the front of the bike we'll see how that goes um, another prototype from tailfin but that's kind of where i'm at with the setup i think it's pretty very very cool actually i think it's 12 out of 10 12 out of 10. i'm going to be flying out to morocco on saturday and i'm going to try my best to document it on a gopro and with a disposable camera because I thought, why not? And hopefully show you as much of my journey as I possibly can. Uh, but I guess the next video that will appear will be in Morocco. Bye guys. <laughs>